hello um, welcome back to the tutorial series today we will see the Cori's tutorial so remember the link hyperledger hit github composer latest tutorials Cori's so we have already covered playground tutorial we covered uh, developer tutorial and this is a continuation of that developer tutorial Cori's tutorial okay um, and let's uh, we will follow okay in this Cori's tutorial um, we are trying to develop a um, we are trying to add a new logic okay the new logic is to um, let me explain in detail here uh, if if there is a commodity with size greater than 60 remove that commodity that's the new rule we are going to add okay um, um, and to do that we are going to introduce a Cori's functionality it will query uh, about the size of the commodity and return a result if size is greater than 60 we will remove that so th that's what we are going to see in today's tutorial okay let's follow step by step in the previous tutorial we have seen um, uh, we developed um, a CTO file okay um, the, our C CTO file is this one my .cto under the models folder uh, so we are going to add few more elements to that on top of what is existing so let's see what all things we added here we added a event trade notification so whenever a trade happens the event get triggered we will see how that is implemented in the logic.js a transaction so in the previous video we have seen we have defined how we designed defined trade transaction now we are going to define a new transaction called remove high quantity commodity and there is an event when there is a remove happens a notification will be sent so that is that event so we will see in detail how this functionality we are going to implement so going to the next step they are asking us to add these this trade commodity already existing function but they are asking us to add a few more elements to it uh, that is for the notification whenever a trade happens a notification trade notification will get emitted uh, so that is for that and we are going to add this new method so let's see what it's in it so this new method has a query we will query this is the query we are going to call select commodities with high quantity and the result we will get we will iterate that result and we will remove whatever that uh, commodity that have high higher than 16 we will remove that before removing we are going to emit a event remove notification event that's what this one this logic.js functionality we are going to implement so whatever existing we will replace it we had this this function only one function trade commodity function a trade a new owner get added to a in place of the old owner so the commodity getting uh, trade it to a new owner and uh, update that to the blockchain so that is getting replies so 
we just add in the trade commodity method we just add a notification but this is something brand new we add this whole thing new and yeah let's save that then go into yeah step two we are going to add brand new file Corey's file okay so it has three it has three it has a few elements like first query is select commodity so description select all commodities no, this is the statement it is very similar to sql statement select these commodities so this is basically select all commodities so select commodities by exchange so the first query select all commodity then we add the where close by exchange so main exchange so select commodities by owner the select close where close owner argument then the select commodities with high call quantity so select so this is selection of commodities based on quantity select close where close quantity greater than 60 so we will add this one so there is a new file option uh, no not here Corey's.qry. That's a file. Add, save. Okay. So there is one more change they are asking us to do before generating the BNA file. That is modify this package.json to version to one to two. So just do that if we didn't do we had to do uh, we had to modify everywhere so just follow what they say copy generate that bna bna file got generated see the first bna second bna now deploy and update the bna files okay copy this one copy copy that and generate the peer card admin now we have to upgrade the network with the bna file it will take few minutes time Yeah, it a uh, few more minutes to go. Hmm. My system is not as fast as it used to be. Um, Okay, I have copied all the JSON information here and now I, I will update the GitHub with all this information, okay, so that it will be easier for you guys to uh, test it out. Um, so, still... Till 
need more time. Oof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finished. Now we have to ping the network with the admin tutorial. Yeah, it got successfully deployed network version 0 0.02. Now the fun near part comes. We have to from the REST server. Wow, it will ask. I have to type this information. I will copy it. Yeah. Never use namespace. Anything capitalized, that is the default. So press enter. Press enter, press enter. No, yeah, press enter. Server will start at 3000, out to 3000. Come on. Yeah. So we have commodity. Okay, we have commodity. This is new in the last tutorial. We um, this one was not there. This is new, and this transaction also new. In last tutorial, we have only one transaction uh, trade. Now we have this one. Mm, this over there. Okay, let's go and see the commodity. Try it out. We have a commodity that is 72. Okay, that's good. But the issue is that um, we have to delete one, right? So just to make sure that um, we can see the difference, we will add one more commodity. Let's see where is commodity. So this one, I will add one more commodity. Let's uh, Trading symbol. What is APL? Description. Apple stock. Okay. Main exchange. BSC. <laughs> Let's see. BSC. Let's think Apple got registered into BSC. Ah. I have modified this guy. So this is Rahul. Let's give this to Rahul. So copy. Commodity. We will post this commodity. Response holds 200. So successfully posted that commodity. Let's see how it looks like now. Yeah, Rahul has uh, ABC. Rahul has APL also. Okay, good. Now, now what? Yeah, uh, now now here so now now we have to do the transaction 
So no, we have already seen the translation of trading. So uh, don't no need to do that again. We will try this one. Size so equal to greater than 16. Remove. So we will initiate the transaction that is compulsive. Yeah. So let's go back here. 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 Where is the transaction? Remove. Let's initiate that transaction. Okay. So I'm going to initiate that transaction. Let's see. Response 200. Everything looks good here. Let's see how the commodities. So it had two ABC with 72 quantity and APL with 12. Now let's see after we ran our remove transaction how that looks like. Did I run it? No, it didn't, it didn't get executed. What went wrong? Remove. Did I? There is nothing. I didn't read the response. Go. Does quantity with the seventy two, the commodity with the seventy two, go only twelve so commodity with the twelve, co quantity that exists. So we have successfully finished this tutorial. Okay, try it out and let me know. Uh, um so i will upload these uh, all this information to the github okay so no need to search uh, these things anywhere um all will be available in the our github channel so try it out from your end let's the group know if you have an issue thank you bye